gonna bring our lower leg back, and if he runs away, we're gonna half halt and breathe. Right away, slow your rising. Yeah, she's been riding him really slow, but she's been, he's been running away. At uh, Augie? Or just the canner? Uh, probably just the canner. Just, he, she hasn't, I mean, she's riding him, but she just hasn't been as consistent because we were away. This is not even fresh. Your hands are nice and quiet. We're leaving his mouth alone. Have you got the, the double reins figured out? Okay, so you ready to hold them differently? Yeah. <laughs> no. So your flat rein needs to be beside your second finger and your braided rein in your normal third finger. And then you're gonna bring him back down and you're gonna find a really nice trot immediately and then we're going to canter 10 steps back down to a really nice trot back up for 10 steps you got it so when you're ready let's ask him for a little canter one two three four five six seven eight nine trot make it happen lean back Good, and you want the nice trot. Bend him to the inside. Good, and canter six this time. One, two, three, four, five, trot. Breathe out, don't let him run away. You're the boss. Your right rein is significantly shorter than your left. Let's make them even. Shorten your left rein, loosen your right rein. We don't want his nose bending to the rail, honey. Good. This time when you get to six, you are going to make him trot. You're going to sit, you're going to grip those legs on, and you are going to say, no, we are trotting. Two, three, four, five, trot. Make it happen. Sit and pull. Yes, make it happen. Good girl. He's got to learn to respect you when you ask Enter. By the corner, you should be trotting. And, and trot. Yep. Good girl. And keep trotting, that's it. So he would like to canter and just go, 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 go. So this exercise is telling him that, no, we can listen, we can do transition. Keep his nose straight. If he's bending, check in your reins at the same length. Circle. Change your rise. Your left rein is still six inches longer than your right. Around the jump. As you hit the rail, you're going to canter to the first corner. And try to circle around the roll top. Good girl. Hands forward, think about you. Good. This is getting better. We're making sure when we ask for the downward transition, we exhale, we sit, and we really use those thighs. Canter. Good. And trot a circle right here, just a small one. Turn him, turn him, and trot. That's a big one. A nice small yeah. one on the roll top. That's what I want you to do when you ask him to trot a circle, okay? Let's canter again. Yeah, breathe. Use your left rein. Lift it up and push him over. Yeah. And try to circle. Good. Change direction. 
Ben. Ja. So, we don't ever get too, too much of it at home, so we want to play with it and learn how to ride it. Tanner. Half halt and trot a small circle. Slow your ride. Good. I'd like you to canter a circle around the roll top. <laughs> you sound like a kitty. When you hit the rail, you want to be trotting. Good. Well done. That was beautiful. And canter. Oh, so much better, Sophia. And trot a circle. Sit heavy. Breathe out. Yep. Hold your reins steady. Don't let them fight you. Good job. It's not your job to pull and bang and yank. It's your job to just... Sit up, bring your hand back, and wait for him to listen. We can increase the pressure, but we don't need to bump, right? So you just hold him and wait. Tanner? That's okay, we'll ride the wrong lead for a minute. And draw a circle. Breathe. Change your ride. Oh, draw it. Good girl. Right to it. Change your ride. He can really use something like like a calming supplement, but he doesn't respond well to calming supplements. Because a lot of it's just that he's like an edgy horse. Like Yes, agreed. But he doesn't respond to that stuff. So we're going to up the challenge here now that you know what you're doing. Okay? Are you ready for it? Yeah. All the straight lines across the arena. You missed that one. I was a little late. Are going to be cantered. So, keep trotting, but you would canter right there. You would canter, 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 canter. And then you would break to a trot. You would trot up the rail. Trot, 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 trot. Turn. Then you would canter, 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 all the way across. Then you would break to a trot, 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 trot. You trot all the way up here to the tire. Turn. Canter, 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 canter. At the rail, trot, trot, trot. At the corner, we would canter and then canter across the top and then trot again. Does it make sense? Every time you go this way or this way, this way on the arena, you're cantering. If you're on the rail on the sides, you're trotting. All right, so things I want to try with Finn is a, a bridle that is ergonomic, aerodynamic. I don't know even what the word is. Because some people said that their horses did that and it was because they were really sensitive in certain areas of their face. He's had exams and there's been nothing like nothing and anyway so still trying to figure it out I want to try that I just don't know how to find a, a bridle that fits like that doesn't matter the bit doesn't matter like there's there's so many things that we tried does it even in a bitless bridle
Some days are worse, some days are better. Yeah. Today is worse because she's actually making him listen instead of letting him just do what he wants. Yeah, and that's the clue is that when Finn has control and does what he likes, he's a lot better. Yeah. When Sophie takes control and says, no, you're doing what I want, which is what we've just always let him do what he wants to stop his head shaking, which is probably maybe a part of the issue. He fights more when she says, I'm con... So, Gabby also says that once he's like, is he just framing or is he like pushing from behind? But when he does frame, is he actually like rounding or is he just putting his head down? Um, Sophie and I haven't really worked on that a whole lot, so I haven't seen him. He's done it a couple times where he's pushing from behind. Um, but oftentimes when he frames, he's just really trying to, um... Evade. Yeah. Evade, not the bit specifically, but more Sophie taking control and telling him what to do. She also said the head shaking has been slowly getting worse over the last couple rides. Well, yeah, because I don't think it's slowly been getting worse. I think it's just been worse the last couple of rides because she hasn't been as consistent with her rides on him. It's not something that's like gets worse. It's not something that's getting worse. It's consistently the same. I can see like a huge change in her when she starts doing like jumper stuff like she gets off on this this is her thing